What's up guys, today I'll be doing a review and a guide for Clean My Mac by MacPaw. Okay, I'm going to start the scan first in the in the application move it off to the side because it takes a while to scan. And uh, run through what's in the actual application itself. Uh, the first thing you have here is your caches. And these are just your user caches and... Uh, Supposed to make your like applications load faster, and it'll delete that. These are your logs. It'll clean up those. Your language files are basically files within your files that have all the languages in them, and then you can delete those. Random other languages. Universal binaries are older architecture types for your PCs that it doesn't really need that can delete. Um, system junk, of course, is just um, random files that the system doesn't need that it writes to certain places on your drives and then your trash it just mostly that's mostly for your trash um, your extensions are um, your widgets and then you can use this you can drag your applications here and it will delete the app and find all the um, extensions that it uses and delete those as well and that's the same thing for files is what quick erase is Okay, now I'll go through the preferences a little bit. Uh, in this in this menu, you can change what you default, um, what you enable like, by default to scan and clean. And you have user cache, photo cache, system cache, user logs, system logs. And the privilege just means you have to unlock it, and I'll show that later. And in this browser, in this language to keep, you pick the language that your main language, and it will delete all the others. Um, this menu is for external drives you connect and all the three options. Uh, your appearance, you can go marble or titanium. Personally, I prefer titanium. And the advanced menu, choose some sounds, um, whether you securely erase, which it means it rewrites three times so it can't be detected again, basically. Uh, then you have enable automatic application uninstall, which I did and I think is really, really helpful. Uh, and then just your trash monitor if you want to use that. This is just some more privacy and update settings. And if you click help, the question mark, that'll open up your help menu, which will give you a little rundown of Clean My Mac. And you can click support center if you need any more help. Let's go back to scan. Okay, once scan is finished, you click clean. And then move that off the side while it finishes cleaning. Uh, you can see I have about four gigs of stuff to delete. Um, you can just see the various types of files that it finds that it says are all right to delete. Um, a lot of different language files, about two gigs of all my applications. Language files can be deleted. Many, many universal binaries as well in the, the same manner. Uh, not too much system junk and not too much trash since I deleted it just recently so that should be good like I said not much trash there and once it finishes it may come up with this dialog box and that basically means that you need to click um, the lock down here and you will log in here and allow clean my Mac to change your files uh, and here you can see my results from this cleaning, I recovered three gigs, and so that's a total of almost three and a half um, recovered. And if you click this, you can tweet it straight onto your Twitter, and that it does it all for you. That's pretty nice. Um, but that's my review for Clean My Mac. Thank you, and please subscribe.